guys, this is Phil. And I'm Miles from the Storm Rodders, and today we're going to go over tactical fundamentals. So normally when we think of tactics, we think of things like flanking assaults and feint attacks. But in reality, a tactic is anything that you use to accomplish a particular mission on the battlefield. Or in military terms, it's the application of combat power to accomplish a particular objective. And tactics don't necessarily achieve anything on their own. They're just tools that a commander can use to exert his influence over a battlefield. Like any tool, it's important that you know how to use it. So we're going to talk about three different tactical fundamentals today. We're going to talk about the initiative, we're going to talk about flexibility, and we're going to talk about mindfulness. So let's get to it. So the first tactical fundamental we're going to talk about today is the initiative. The initiative is what commanders use to dictate the tempo on the battlefield. The commander who has the initiative gets to decide what plan is going to be put in place on the battlefield and force the other commander to react to his plan. Now, commanders are always going to try and make their plan the plan that's actually on the field. So they're going to fight and they're going to try and retain the initiative and take it from the other person through a variety of means. And the initiative can change hands at any point during a battle. For example, if you're on the offense and in the middle of an attack and your attack stalls, if your volume of fire slows, the enemy is in a very good position then to regain the initiative. Similarly, if you're in the defense and the enemy is attacking you, you can achieve the initiative simply by a volume of fire. The battlefield is not a static environment, and things are constantly changing. This is why a commander must be creative and flexible. Certain factors such as weather, terrain, time of day, position of enemy troops will all determine which tactics will be employed. The same tactic will never produce exactly the same situation, so it is extremely critical for the commander to be flexible. Since battlefield factors are always changing, there can never be any guarantee that a tactic which worked in the past will work again. Commanders need to be ready to change their plan on the fly as the situation dictates. So for example, if a commander has used a center line push with left flankers in the past, and they're using this again and they expect it's going to work, but suddenly the left flankers aren't being able to advance because of enemy fire, the commander needs to be flexible enough to adapt to his new situation. Maybe he needs to take his left flankers and move them and push to a right flanking assault. Or maybe he can't do that and he does need to advance on the left, so he needs to increase his volume of fire or start using deployable tools like grenades. In any event, the commander needs to show immense clarity of thought and flexibility and creativity in thinking to determine what course of action needs to change in order to be successful on the battlefield. So the last thing we're going to talk about is battlefield mindfulness. Now, battlefield mindfulness is critical to the commander's ability to lead troops on the battlefield, and it's a lot more than just understanding what's going on in the field at a given time. The more mindful a commander is, and the more of an understanding he has of how events are unfolding around him, the better tactical decisions he can make. An example would be if a commander knows that one of his fire teams is in an engagement on one part of the battlefield and they're currently stagnating in their attack, he can withdraw them and choose another avenue of attack. The role of the frontline troop is to practice passing along useful information to commander. For example, the commander would need to know how many troops are currently attacking one of his flanks, but he might not necessarily need to know that one of those enemy troops is wearing a funny hat. If the whole team practices good battlefield mindfulness, the team can function at its full potential. So in talking about the three tactical fundamentals, the initiative, flexibility, and battlefield mindfulness, when you have all of those three, sort of what is your final goal? What is the end goal or the reason that you're doing this? The whole reason you're working on these fundamentals is to gain momentum. Once you lose momentum, you lose the initiative. Once you lose the initiative, you lose flexibility. And then all you've got left is battlefield mindfulness. And from that mindfulness, you have to regain flexibility and you have to regain the initiative just to get momentum again. So that's it for the three tactical fundamentals. We looked at the initiative, flexibility, and mindfulness. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the box below. Thanks for watching. Thanks guys.